Hello everyone and welcome back to Steven Plays Skyrim. My name is Steven George, I play video games, sometimes it's Skyrim, and sometimes Fandle is in my face. How's it going, man? You doing alright? Lo looks like you're studying me. Actually, kind of looks like we're making out. Um, we're not, we're not doing that. I'm, I'm sorry, Fandle, but I'm, I'm really interested in Aello. You know what? Maybe. Maybe. Actually, it was funny, there's a few, a few comments in some of the past videos that said I should marry Fandle. Uh, I'm not sure what I get out of that, and I'm marrying not based on love, affection, gender, or anything. Uh, I just know that Aella gives you like a hundred gold or something? I don't know. You guys can let me know who the most beneficial person to marry is. Um, I'm not going to marry for anything other than what you get, because I already married once. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's continue on. We we were uh, last time in the... Um, uh, what is this... We're not in Lost Knife Hideout. No, we're in the, um, Fort. Fort something. I'm not actually sure exactly where we are. I just know that Stalio wants us to come in here and, uh, raise some cane so we can get his place back. Small antlers? <laughs> How delicious! That looks weird. Let's walk around this thing. Cooking pot. Oh, wow! Actually, this actually comes with a really good time because I've got a lot of, uh, stuff available to me. Let's see. Oh, man. Yeah, check this out. Venison chop. Venison stew. 15 points of stamina. 1 point of health per second. Um, I read some of the comments in some of the past videos, and you guys said that this is really uh, a good thing, like, after a boss fight, if you want to restore health or stamina, like, on the way to the other rooms. And that makes perfect sense. Uh, even so, I'm really more interested in making stuff that just restores a bunch of health. Uh, like, that, that right there looks really, really nice, really useful. Um... Okay, so I can't make any more of that. Uh, pheasant roast. Can't make any more. Actually, I can't make as much stuff as I thought I could. Cooked beef. Okay, and apple cabbage. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I can make quite a few of these. Bam! Okay, cool. Argyle is a master chef. He takes after me. I'm not actually a master chef. Uh, plentiful healing. Plentiful healing. Ultima stamina. I already looked through that thing. I really like ro rooms like this, where it's just a bunch of ingredients or... Um, well, I guess ingredients particularly, because you can actually, like, make all kinds of soups and stuff. I'm really getting into that dog meat. Oh, man, I'm reminded of Fallout 3. Um, is it is it bad to take this? I'm going to take it. Okay. Um, I'm very close to whatever the end is here. And uh, we got some leather strips. Anything of use on the shelf? No, doesn't look like it. A chest with some free gold. And we probably got, yeah, some apples and such. Tomatoes. Carrots. Uh, more. More tomatoes. And salt piles. Okay, great. Oh my god, there's more. What the crap is up with these sacks? There's so many sacks. There's a ridiculous amount of sacks here. And a lot of salt piles, but as we've already learned, those can be quite important in the creation of soups and uh, other things like that. Okay, now I think we've grabbed pretty much everything. I'm assuming that the boss is through this door. What do you think, Mr. Tall Fandle, who is not crouching even though I'm crouched? Why are you standing up? Whatever, you must not be worried. I'm a little worried. Let's do a quick save. And okay, uh, let's move through here. Oh, coin purse. What up, coin purse? You belong to me. And a hallway with absolutely nothing at the end. Fantastic. A uh, leg of goat. Another coin purse. Sometimes at the end of a debris hallway, there will be a um, a chest, but not this time. Fandle, mind the trap. Good, Fandle. We don't really want to get hit in the face. Um, looks like the enemy could be right here. Which he's not. Well then, he's moving around though. I'm not exactly sure where he is. Uh, we got iron ore and wow. Check that out. Iron tacular. Leather strips. We got it all. Tomatoes. Cabbage. Which I don't want to stand up to get. Uh, anything over here? More saws. I don't think saws are of any, of any importance though. Uh, looks like there's a lot of barrels which have 
food in them. Potatoes. Salt piles. What is up with the barrels, man? This is ridiculous. Okay, good. Um, now, Fangdle, be very careful. Because I'm fairly certain that we are about to run into some serious stuff. Oh, piss, we can go up. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, God. Oh, there's an enemy. It's not the enemy, but it's an enemy. Oh, you went down! Fandle, get out of my way, Fandle. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. They're coming. They're coming. They're probably... Co Here they come. Am I hidden? I wanna be I'm hidden. Fandle, you're not hidden, dude. Your sneak sucks! Fandle, you're gonna give us all away. Oh, God. Are they still coming? No, actually, I think they left us alone. Ha <laughs> ha! You people are idiots! That are gone. And also, you can see at the uh, subtitle text down there that, yes, they are uh, very much... Skuma is very much the illegal drug for Skyrim. That one guy went down quick. I can't shoot bet between this. It's not going to work. Darn it. Is someone there? Nope. Shoot her! Fandle. 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 Got her. You're welcome. Fandle, don't get in the way of this. Go, Arrow! Wow. That idiot walked right into it, and I'm hidden again. Dang. Okay, well, that was easy. Uh, Dwarven Arrow, Gold. What else you got? Or Nord Arrow. Someone actually had to remind me of my plan last episode, because my plan was to give... Um, Fandle good arrows, and as he shoots them and I collect them from bodies, I get the good arrows, which is really neat. Um, but I had actually kind of forgotten about my original plans, so someone was like, hey, you know, you planned this. Why did I take fine clothes? What? I didn't want the boots! I don't want no boots! I don't want no black robes that don't do anything cool. Alright, we got a lot of stuff to look through here. Boots and a chest, which we luckily do not have to uh, you, oh man, another shield. I better take the shield, it's worth a lot of money. Gold, gold diamond neck, diamond, diamond necklace. I got really lucky there, now I have a ring and a necklace, so they're both gold diamond. Um, just grabbing all this random stuff. I'm nearly over the weight limit, but not yet. And therefore, I will continue to grab useless garbage, such as carrots. I am indeed a rabbit. Uh... Horse haunch. Is it okay to eat horses? Now I can't run. The, ho ah, the horse weighed me down, man. All right, let's take a quick look here at our, our items. What do we carry in that weighs a crap load? The elven battle axe probably is not helping. You have a dwarven battle axe? Is that what you're using? Back. Let's trade some stuff. Because there's probably something in here that I am I have that you could use anyway. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, Dwarven Shield is a good example. I'm not using that. You might you might want it. So if you want it, there you go. Um, just don't die, because that would be really inconvenient. Uh, if you want an Elven Shield, if you decide to use one of those for whatever reason, there you go. Uh, weapons. Anything in here you could use. An Elven Battle Axe. Do you want it? It's yours. A dagger. If you're into daggers, there you go. Staff of the Flame Atronach. Go for it, Fandle. I can't wait to see them wandering around here. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're fine. You want me to carry? Okay. Uh, wait, what just happened? Did we double conversation? That was kind of odd. All right, what else is on here? Uh, leg of goat roast, other stuff. Where is this guy, man? Oh, hey, look. Prison key. Well, that's useful. Why do I have to open this? I just picked up the prison key. Are you serious? I don't even know what's in here, but uh, maybe I should not just start randomly opening these locks. Slowly. Sl oh. Slowly. Th man, there wasn't even any resistance to that. Also, what? Okay. No, no. Come on. There we go. Okay, what's in here? Um, a bucket. 
and a tankard. Son of a gun! I knew it! I gotta, I gotta take my time before I just randomly open these things. Okay, what about this? Anything in there? No. No, there's not. There's nothing of interest in there. Here's a guy I killed. You had some pretty awesome stuff. You had money, which is something. <laughs> so nothing else in here? I don't know what the prison key was for, because it didn't open those doors, which is really weird. Let's make our way further down the hall. Minding the trap, Fandle. Minding the trap. He hit the trap. Son of a gun. I wonder what it does. You took some damage, and you seem to be poisoned. How was it? Whenever I told you to, to not step on the trap, and then you immediately stepped on the trap. This place is big, especially because a minute ago I thought we were going to run into the boss and have it, and that would be it. But it's actually pretty large. Uh, blacksmith's apron. Bucket. Wooden ladle. Iron greatsword. Really small barrels. These are like baby barrels. Shouldn't, oh, piss. Whatever. And what you got for me, barrel? Potatoes. Open Skyrim. Okay, so we've found the V or A exit, which is good. And here we have a chest. Hide shield, gold, lockpick. Okay. Oh, God. Jesus, Fandle! Fandle, are you trying to get me killed? Because you're doing a good job. Get the balls out of my way. I swear to God. I'm, I'm this close to killing you myself. Get out of the... Jesus. The hurry. the hurry is... You're in my... Oh, my God. Okay. Where's my healing spell? Healing. Yeah. Woo. Don't step on the trap. My God. I don't need to do that again. And there we go. Okay, well, let's switch back over to my uh, elven bow, and let's kill this guy once and for all. He has to be up the stairs. That's the only place that makes sense. Oh, actually, I can look up there and see him. All right, time to die. Time to quick save. Okay, now if Fandle can stop killing me for a few seconds, we'll be able to make some headway here. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, very careful. Oh, wait, there's a guy there. Should probably kill him. Nothing. It was your imagination. Now you're dead. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got a wooden plate. A large sack. Oh, God. I love large sacks. Two large sacks. Fantastic. Two, a salty large sack. Uh-oh. Oh, God. If you're going to come get some, come get some. That's all I can say, buddy. If you want it, here it is. Just getting jumpy, yes. Yep, you're just getting jumpy. Oh, piss. I missed. Argonian! <laughs> I killed him so fast! I had such a moral dilemma. Oh, God. Get out while I still... Fandle, start shooting. Oh, God. It's funny because I had a, a huge moral dilemma over the cat, and then by the time I realized it was an Argonian, I already killed the Argonian. Okay. Anyway. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, that was easy. Also, I read one-handed as disability, which is weird. It was like, disability increased to 42. I was like, great. Oh, I just accidentally grabbed some of this stuff. Uh, I don't know if Fandle can use any of this stuff. I think his armor's actually better than that. Or his sword actually is not that good. I don't know why I got excited over that. Oh, you suck. Jeez. It's weird because the last Silverhand leader I fought was stuck in a pen, and it was harder than that one. Huh, whatever. Okay, let's see what else you guys got. Um, gold, lockpick, minor healing. I'm a fan of these things. And uh, an Argonian. So you, you do exist. I'm not the only Argonian in all of Skyrim. That's kind of nice to know. Whoa. Wacky. Um, so we got some random stuff to eat here. Wheat. Wheat. Hide bracers. And they're worth tending way one. I'll grab it. Thistle Branch. Sun's Height, Wolf Queens, other crap that's of no interest. And nothing in the basket, but I wanted to make sure. Of course, random crap we don't want. Um, Iron Dagger on Oblivion. Apothecary Satchel with a Beehive Husky. Never eaten this. Potion of Minor Magic. And Rock Warbler Egg. And we got Salt Pile. A Sack. 
And another sack. <laughs> sack on sack action. I think I've talked about sacks a little too much this episode. Gloves. This is over here. A uh, dresser. With nothing. And a wardrobe with surprisingly less. Even though it's bigger. Open Skyrim and that goes up. That's probably where we want to go. Uh, otherwise, we've got some random books. Spell Tome Courage. I think I already learned that, but that's okay. Twin Secrets. Enchanting. Nice. And I'll take that. Uh, we got Enchanter's Drought. Uh, coin Purse. And a Knapsack that's got random books, some gold, a green apple, minor healing. Silver Sapphire Necklace. Nice. We're getting lucky with these necklaces. And, oh my god, more iron. What's up with these? These people are so high, uh, hoarding a lot of iron. Otherwise, got some pretty good stuff in here. Steel plate armor, which is good armor. Apprentice robes of conjuration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly give this to you, Fandle, because you probably Still appreciate here. this more than I will. What do you want me to carry? Uh, I've got some sweet stuff for you, bro. Let's come down here to apparel. If I can get down there. Steel horned helmet. If you want that, it's yours. And uh, steel plate armor. Okay, and you do like that better. Well, there you go. Now you got some sweet armor, and I don't have to worry about making you any myself, which is nice. Cool. Man, you look older now. It's it's. I think it's because the gray in your steel armor is matching the gray in your eyebrows. You're old. How old are you? Anyway, whatever. We'll figure that out later. Okay, uh, arcane enchanter, which is something I don't need. Let's climb this ladder and figure out what the heck is up here. Okay. A chest. And the chest gives us da 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 scaled boots, which are better than my elven boots. Uh, but I actually got a comment that said scaled stuff is better than elven stuff, so that makes sense. Gold and a refined moonstone, which is actually really valuable. Anything else up here? No. Oh my god, we're way up in the air. Huh. Well, I'm actually glad we came up here, but this is apparently not the way we need to go. Let's go down to the other exit. Okay, and, uh... Let's run down... Poor Argonian. To... Where was it? Oh, hey! That would have been useful. Too late now, unless I want to kill Fandle with it. Let's run down here. And the exit was... Where were you, exit? Oh, that's the same room. Jump over this. Keep moving. There we go. And before Fandle kills himself, let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, and as I figured, we're right here next to the exit. Uh, now we can go get um, that guy, Stalio. Stalio? Stalio, we did it. The Silver Hand leader is dead, and we opened the way, even though we opened the way a long time ago. And they never moved outside, so you would have been fine. There you are. Hmm. Hmm. Wait. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I. Huh? Wait a minute. Whoa! 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 Sorry. Sorry. Let me just double check here. Oh, now I can meet up with him in the courtyard. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Thank God. Hey, man, what's up? What do you want, lizard? What? What do you think? <laughs> the fort is yours. Thank you for your help. Did you see my family inside? Yeah, they were very dead. I, I mean, no, I didn't see them. <sighs> Hopefully they made it to safety before the attack. I'll begin the search after a quick restock. Okay. Anyway, here is your reward. Thanks again. That restock's probably going to be a little bit <sighs> difficult, considering the fact that I, I took most of your stuff. Nice beard. <laughs> Even though it's it's more Need pain. Something? Yeah, sorry. Just it looked like you had a huge mustache, but I, I realized it's yes. not. No, don't no, don't worry. We're fine. We're fine. Go ahead. You're 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 okay. Um, actually, we're nearly out of time. Actually, we are out of time. But doggone it, there was a lot of stuff I wanted to get to two episodes ago, and I'm gonna do it. And in order to do it, I need to go back to White Run. So I am going to friggin' White Run and taking care of some last minute stuff that really needs taken care of. Okay, first up, I'm going to drop some stuff off at the house, but then after that, a lot of work to do. Done. Onward to step two. Because I have such an immense amount of leather and leather strips, I'm going to be able to make a lot of leather stuff, enchant it, and sell it, which is useful. Okay, I made 13 sets of leather armor, 
and uh, two bracers, and that got rid of a lot of my uh, my leather, and now I can actually enchant this and sell it for way more money. I've actually discovered that it really doesn't make the value go up all that more. I thought because, you know, with the iron daggers it jumped way, way up, it would do the same thing for leather armor, but it doesn't. So I think I'm actually going to save these soul gems because it's like an extra like $80 and it's really not worth it, so I'm not going to do that. However, while I'm here, I'm actually going to buy some spells that uh, I wanted hmm. to get in some I of the previous episodes, and those are... I think you'll appreciate do, 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 do. Conjure Flame Agenog, yep! Give me that, and also Fast Healing, some of the things I wish I would have had before. Also, Healing Hands is nice to have because it allows you to heal other people. Let's just go ahead and grab that while we're here. And, um, is there anything else you got right now? No, you're looking good. Excellent. Next, I'm going to be talking Divine to Preventus because I am I going to decorate my awful. stinking house. I certainly have the money for it. There Bedroom furnishings, loft decorations, well. dining room Very for me, well. living room. Well. I want the nicest like house purchase. ever Very kitchen. Well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? No, there's nothing else to purchase. But that was actually here looking for Lost Legends because apparently you get a quest from reading it. Yes, started Forbidden Legend. And there's another book in here called uh, Legends of Red Eagle that I have to find. Also, this isn't stealing, so I'm going to take it. That was weird. And here we have the Legend of Red Eagle. So let's read that. And I'll take that as well, which starts... Oh, well, it doesn't look like it starts a quest. It just uh, tells us to find Red Eagle's sword and also weighs us down. Doggone it! Buy my crap! Thank you. Thank you. The last random thing I was asked to do was talk to Freya Greymane. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. So yet another random quest. Those bashful born. They're in with the Imperials. They know it too. And yet they lie to my very face. Uh, how do you know they're lying? It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Okay, so we started yet another quest. Uh, one final thing before we, we stop for today. I am going to unlock some shouts. Fire Breath. So now we have Fire Breath. And I'll go ahead and favorite it. Um, and the other one is uh, Aura Whisper. I'm kind of curious about that one. And there we go. I think uh, it would be appropriate before we end this episode that has been prolonged for quite a bit of time to check out my new um, really, really friggin' awesome house. Oh man, that is beautiful. Fandle, check it out, dude. Is it possible for you to walk into this fire and burn yourself? Really? It's funny because you identify that fire is bad, but traps are good. Anyway, that's actually going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Stephen Plays new video game episode every single day. And be sure to join me and Fandle next time. Wow, this is crazy. This, there's a door? Oh my god, this is nuts. Cool. Wow. Free sweet rolls. Anyway, uh, so thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time.